Okay, friends. All right, this is going to show you guys how to make your Scratch program to interact with your Makey Makey. It's also going to show you how to turn it into a website and make a short link for it to put on your program. So everybody, what's the software we're going to use? Scratch.mit.edu. Okay, so you have all this crazy stuff. You're going to want to log in. Okay, and then you're going to hit the create button. Okay, at that point, it's pretty easy. I'm using Chrome for this. Chrome tends to work really well. At this point, you have this cute little cat. Whatever, just leave it there. You don't have to do anything with that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to events. And what I want to do is I want to create... The, the number of events as interactive components I have. So I look on the instructions and these are the number of events I'm going to need to have. So I'm going to need to hear about the fossil open bilayer, the mitochondria, the Golgi apparatus, the ER, smooth and rough, ribosomes, nucleus, lysosomes, vacuoles, and cytoskeletons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which means I'm going to have to use the front and the back of the making making link to pass. Okay. So I got nine events that I need to make happen. So I'm going to, the first event is going to happen. Notice I'm going to grab in this little block, and this says when space key is pressed. Is space key an option on? The make the make you make it. Yes. Yep. I'm going to start from the left, though. I'm just going to use all the keys. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose when uh, left arrow is pressed. Okay? Okay. So then what I'm going to do is when the left arrow is pressed, it needs to talk about one of those things. Well, how am I going to do that? Okay? I'm going to go here to sounds. Okay? And I'm going to make a sound that's going to talk about that thing according to the script I gave you. I'm just going to do something ridiculous right now, okay? Now, you can do a couple things. You can record it directly into Scratch, or you can record it if you want to do it more professionally, however you choose, and upload that file to Scratch. I'm just going to record it right now in Scratch, so you see. So I'm going to go New Sound, and then I'm going to hit the record button right there and it's going to prompt me and of course I'm going to allow it then I'm going to hit the red button and it should be re or was it already, it already recorded okay, let's go new sound let's delete this and so I always struggle with this it's recording me right now and I'm talking about the phospholipid bilayer I sound so smart yay 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 then I hit stop. There's my sound. I want to make it loud. Turn the volume up. And let's just play this real quick. Oh, what am I going to call this? I'm going to call this P-Lipid Bilayer EO. All right. So. It's recording me right now. And I'm talking about the phospholipid bilayer. I sound so smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I called it the phospholipid bilayer. Okay, and I have that now. So now, what, now watch what happens. This is the cool part. I don't have to do anything. That sound is there. I go back to scripts. Okay. I go to sound. Okay. And then I say, when left arrow key is pressed, play sound. And look at what sound is in there now. Phospholipid bilayer. So watch what happens when I hit the left arrow. I hit the left arrow. He's recording me right now, and I'm talking about... That happened when I hit the left arrow, right? Okay, so now... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So we want to we wanna do another event for another key, though, right? So let's just do one more, and I'm going to show you a trick that we figured out. So if I highlight over him and I right-click... He's recording me right now. I can duplicate. So now I have another thing. Do I want this to be left arrow? No. Hells no. I want this to be up arrow, whatever. I'm going to go around. Okay? 
So I don't want it to be that sound, right? So I go back in to sounds and I go new sounds. Look at me. Now I'm talking about the Golgi apparatus. Yay, yay, yay. I'm so cool. So then I go stop and I call this the Golgi apparatus. Okay, and then I go back to scripts, and what's going to be there? Oh, there it is, in the drop-down menu, the new sound I just made, the Golgi apparatus. How do I get that to play? Talking about the Golgi apparatus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so cool. Now, what I should probably do is, I, oh, it kept it high. That's good. So, now there's a problem. Watch the problem that's going to happen here. Watch this. So here's left arrow. It's recording me right now. Here's up arrow. And I'm look at me. Now I'm talking about the Golgi apparatus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what's the problem? They're both playing. Now this is a sixth grader. The chance is the sixth grader. Now your job is to be so engaging. You're like, yo, the Golgi apparatus is like the post office of the girl. You ever mailed a letter? Well, that's what happens to the protein. You know, your goal is to be so engaging. That, that's awesome, but they're sixth grade, right? So they're probably going to click all the buttons. So what do you want to have happen after it clicks all the buttons? Stop the previous one and play the new one, right? So luckily, we have a little thing here in sound called stop all sounds. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag that in and stick it right in between there. So this one, when I click left arrow, It'll stop all the sounds playing and play that sound. When I click up arrow, it'll stop all those sounds and play that sound. Got it? So you keep doing this until your program's done. Okay? You're going to want to have somebody really managing all this, and you're going to really want to have somebody. You could also go recruit like Jen or someone that has like a really good voice to do all the sounds if you wanted to. Ellie, she's very nice and kind. Right? I would love to listen to Ellie talk to me about cells. You know? So great. So, you have Brandon like yell into it. Like, tell us yeah, about it. Yeah. It's so right. It'd be awesome. All right. So, then when this is done, okay, what do we have to do with all this program? You have to turn it into a website, right? So, you do that by hitting this button here. What's that? Sahara Share. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Done. This is now a project. You are, you are now done with it, and but we're not going to call it Untitled 11. We're going to call it Interactive Cell, Interactive Cell Project, uh, blah, 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 whatever you want, okay? So that's fine. This is it. If you wanted to put that on your project, go right ahead. Do you think you want to type in that if you're a sixth grader? Hell no. Okay. So what do you think you want to do with this? You can do any way of making it a smaller link. Are you guys okay with that? You can make it a shorter link. So I'm going to have you, and I have instructions here, but they're on this video. I think what you should do is you should take this, copy it, and go to something called goo.gl. And the reason goo.gl is great is it's a Google app, and you guys already have Google accounts, so you don't need to make a new account. Okay? So you go there, and it says simplify your links. So I paste it there, and then I hit shorten. And now this is the link that will go that you will write on your cell all the project. You will say go to this and play. You should also have like grab ground wire and touch something else. So if I go to this, what's behind it? Let's go to it. Okay, uh, did it copy it? Okay, if I open it up, what should be behind it is the Scratch program. Great, Ramsey. No, I copied everything. So there's the Scratch program right there, and you can put it in full screen, and there it is, okay? They click this little 
thing. And now, how am I going to get it to say the first thing? And I'm talking about the fossil. Look at me. No. It's recording me right now. Look at me. It's recording me right now. I mean, I hate my voice, right? So, do you guys get the idea? Yeah. Okay. So, let me really quickly, this is the real boring part.